So tonight I'm making that bone and ribeye we talked about yesterday. You know, the one that's mood encrusted. And I got some butternut squash that's gonna go with it. Decided since I'm reverse searing the steak, I might as well put the squash on the smoker right along with it. So 250, 275, maybe 300 degrees, hour and a half. And then we'll kick everything up because I gotta get bark on my steak. You know, like 550 degree bark. So we'll see how this goes. Y'all yeah, keep so tuned. I've gutted my butternut squash and I'm putting them in my tray, cut side down. I'm gonna put some water in here with it and on the smoker it goes 90 minutes till it's fork tender. So I'll be able to poke these with a fork and then very little give. Excuse me, right now, but. Later on, I'll have a nice give to them. That's when I'm going to reverse that. searing my steak. I've decided I'm going to use my flame boss. So I don't have to keep running back and forth. I can just check the temperature of the steak and the pit right from the flame boss. But it's downloading software right now. See that? So it's always nice to actually fire everything up before you actually get going. This way you're not panic mode and, ah, and stressed out and get out of your zen space when you're cooking. Small tip. So my pit's sitting at about 320. About to put the bone and ribeye on. The butternut squash is already sitting in the water bath. So now it's time for the ribeye. Mood encrusted ribeye. And it's just gonna sit right there in front. And I'll get my leg closed and let everything rock and roll for at least the next hour, hour and a half. See, so 112 degrees, pulling it off, gonna tense it, and I get my grill up to temperature. Butternut squash cooked, fork tender. You can see I got fork holes in them from my testing. I'm gonna take them out of this little bit of a bath, let them sit. Put some brown sugar and some butter on them, some salt and pepper, and that'll be 650 that. degrees to sear my steak. And yes, we have fire. Thank you, b, &B Charcoal. And I got a little treat. I got some jalapeno butter. You see the jalapeno sitting in there. This is homemade. So I'm going to put this on here and let that... Agitate the steak a little bit. I got a good amount of char, so I know that mood enhancer is doing its job. A couple more minutes, we will be good to go. Pit temp dropped down to five and change, as you see. But that smokehouse sear is still going. Good amount of smoke. Could probably just leave the pit open. And we can wash this jalapeno butter. I think we've got enough sear. I'm gonna go ahead and put it on a cutting board. Shut the pit down. All I can say once again is calm for the wind. Remember that mood crusted bone and ribeye we talked about yesterday, the two pounder? Here she is. I've gotten it seared after being reverse seared to 110 degrees. Got my pit up to 650 degrees. And then as you see, I got a nice char on it. I had some acorn, excuse me, not acorn. Those are butternut squash. Put those in the pit as well, so they got a little bit of smoke on them. And then some zucchini, which I just did in the oven because I needed the space. But anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and come along the bone here and start cutting our big, big ribeye. So, as you see, I have a nice medium rare there. And as we start to slice everything else up, I 
I got a nice medium. Everybody will be happy tonight. So I can honestly say that Mood did his job and got my beef just how I like it. Now, normally I don't eat on camera, but I'm just gonna take a little piece here. Flavor pops. Not overpowering, it still tastes the beef, but that mood has that umami, which is just, phew, that's the new flavor. Uh, I'm gonna finish cutting this up. Me and my family are gonna get our eat on. Y'all have a good night. Smoke on.